I recently did a video demonstrating how to secure your Instagram account. Of all the tips that I shared in that video, hands down the most important for protecting your account is to enable two-factor authentication, or 2FA to use the abbreviation. You could probably get away with ignoring all the other tips as long as you follow the steps in this video. So without any further waffle, this is how to enable two-factor authentication on your Instagram account. Start by clicking on your profile icon in the bottom corner of the window, followed by the menu icon in the top right corner. In the menu, click on settings, followed by security, and then choose two-factor authentication. After clicking on get started, we're presented with three options. If you don't use a 2FA app and you don't intend to, then choose either WhatsApp or SMS. However, you'll notice that using a two-factor authentication app is recommended as the safest option. For all of my 2FA accounts, I use an app called Authy. If you'd like to know why I chose Authy and how you can start using it, I'll link to a video below. But for now, I'll click on Authentication App. At this point, Instagram instructs us to download an app, but when I click on this option, all I get is this, which seems like a bit of a bug. I guess what Instagram is trying to do is open the App Store. If this is your first time setting up 2FA and you don't yet use a 2FA app, my recommendation is to come out of Instagram and go to the App Store, install your 2FA app separately, and then come back to this screen. As I said, I'm already using Authy, so all I need to do is click Set Up Another Way, which provides me with this key, which I can copy into my Authy app. I'll open up Authy, click on Add New Account, and choose Enter Key Manually. Now, regardless of which 2FA app you decide to go with, whether it's Authy, Microsoft, or Google Authenticator, entering a key or scanning a QR code is the standard process. So you should have similar options to what you see here in Authy. I'll paste my code, and then I'll choose a logo, and give my new 2FA account a name. The final step of syncing my Instagram account with Authy is to enter the next six digit code that appears in Authy. So I'll switch back, wait for the code to change, and then enter these six digits into Instagram. And there we have it, 2FA is now set up and you can be confident that your account is now protected against hackers. If we click next, Instagram will provide us with some backup codes. Screenshot or save these somewhere safe, because they will allow you to access your Instagram account should you ever accidentally delete your 2FA app. If I log out of Instagram and log back in, you can see I'm prompted for my 2FA code. Having set up 2FA, it's a good idea to log out of Instagram on any other device you might be logged into, such as your laptop, desktop, or tablet. To do this, head back into settings, click on security, and this time we're gonna click on login activity. Here is a list of all the devices where you're currently logged into Instagram. Log out of each one by clicking on the three dots and choosing log out. As the prompt warns, if you're not familiar with the session you're logging out of, if you don't recognize the location or the device, you should change your password. Remember, because we've set up 2FA, anyone else trying to log into your account from now on will need that 2FA code, which they won't have, so you are well protected. But if you don't recognize any of these sessions, you should definitely change your password. And that's it, that is how to enable 2FA on your Instagram account. If you missed my video demonstrating how to check which third-party apps have access to your Instagram account and how to delete them, then you might be interested in watching this. There are a ton of third-party apps available for Instagram, which you can use to improve your photos, edit your videos, and provide analytics on your account. Most are absolutely legitimate, but many are dubious to say the least, and some are just outright scams. Before allowing any of these apps access to your Instagram account, it's worth taking a closer look at the developer and what other people have said about the app. Take this one for example. On the surface, you look at its rating of four out of five stars and you think it must be pretty good. But if we open it for more information, you can see that actually other users who have tried it were not all that impressed. Now, of course, it might be absolutely legitimate and the user might just be wrong, but reading this comment would certainly make me think twice before installing it. If you have given apps access to your Instagram account, you can often remove them by clicking on the menu icon, opening settings, and clicking on security. At the bottom of the page, you have the option to choose apps and websites, which will show you all of the apps that have access to your account. Click on active and remove anything that you don't recognize or no longer use. 
Not all apps will show up here, so it's worth going through your phone to see what other Instagram related apps you may have previously installed and signed up to. If you no longer use them, try logging in and deleting your account before deleting the app altogether. Visit the website for lots more tips on Instagram and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick videos like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.